Mamma mia! That is a very quick second shot. It is not hard to crack an egg. They're cooking! The hell is that? Oh, oh this was a horrible idea. Oh, they're cooked! <laughs> hey, what's up? What am I up to? Lots of people say that Australia doesn't really have much culture, besides the fact that we're lazy, we make fun of people, and that we drink. So to disprove that, I am going to make a pub classic chicken parmigiana while drinking. Here's how it's gonna go. I've got the clipboard back with a recipe on how to make the chicken parmigiana. And every time I tick off one of these steps in the recipe, I'm gonna have a shot. Because there's about 14 steps into making this, I realize that that is probably not gonna go very well if I'm just drinking an actual spirit because chicken does salmonella thing. So instead, we've opted for the soju grapefruit. I got two cameras on this bitch. But to satiate everybody, I will be having a shot of vodka as a, you know, pre-game to initially start. I'm also using these shot glasses. You're not supposed to fill up this entire thing. And to prove that, that's a almost like fill to the brim. So it's about half. Half of this shot glass is one actual shot. So that's how we're going to be doing it. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Yahoo! Oh, oh, this was a horrible idea. All right, so the first step of making chicken parmigiana is cutting the chicken in the middle and fanning it out. You know what? Let's get a beer as well. Why not? May as well. It's uh, not very Australian, but we can pretend that it is. Cut the chicken in the middle and fan it out. That's the first step. That is a very quick second shot. All right, we're only making one. These seem small, so I'm going to take this big one. We're going to cut it in the middle. I may have needed to get a thigh. Oh no, hold on. No, we're cooking. Yeah, there we go. She's coming out. Yeah, that's a big piece of chicken, actually. That's the base of our chicken parma. We're starting from scratch. That's not even crumbed. Mm. Wait, I'll finish your step. I need to do another shot. This sucks. Whose fucking idea was this? Oh, so just so nice. It's very good. Anyway, next step, we're gonna get some paper towel and pat down the chicken. Why is that one step? Dude, that just takes two seconds. Why did I make that a whole step? That's so much, I'm gonna be so drunk. I'm just gonna like... Have you ever had a couple drinks? Full disclosure, I haven't had... Hmm. Note to self, do not buy Coles paper towel. I'm still using this, this is the bigger piece. See this? We're gonna fix that real quick, hold on. Instead of paper towel, we're gonna use these chucks because they won't stick, I don't think. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so much better. Oh yeah. I don't know how much I'm supposed to pat this either because like you obviously don't want dry chicken, but I feel like the point of patting it down is to get the moisture out of it. All right, let's give that a go. Okay, that's pretty pat. I need to do a shot. This is one of the worst ideas I've ever had. I think I said this before. I Hey, just remember half a shot, by the way. Yahoo! I'm a... Oh, third step. Salt both sides before covering with baking paper and rolling with rolling pin. Okay. I know I gotta stop saying it, but I'm just... I like, it, it is really kidding me how much of a bad idea this is. How the hell does this lid come off? Oh. Yeah, salt this bitch. And now here's the gamer strat. You ready? To not get salt everywhere like I already did. Boom. Put it there. All right, salted both sides. Now I gotta cover it in baking paper and rolling with pin. Okay, that's pretty rolled. Okay, and then I add pepper. I am guessing also to both sides. I don't trust my eyes, I trust this camera. You guys, you guys are all right. You guys go well. Yahoo! Add one tablespoon of oil to a pot. Oh shit, I need a pot. I've gotta add one tablespoon of oil to a pot. One tablespoon. Damn, that's the most precise I think I've ever done a tablespoon. And three cut up garlic cloves. I was going to get garlic cloves, but you can only buy garlic cloves in like a pack of like, it looks like 20 of them. So instead, garlic powder on the side of the bottle says that one eighth of a teaspoon is approximate to one clove of garlic. So that's what we're gonna use instead. Okay, oh, hold on, wait, I can scoop. That looks like half a teaspoon, right? All right, garlic cloves in. Then we have to add 70 grams of tomato paste, which we got here, this is 100 40. This is where we gotta pull out this thing. Alright, 70 grams. That does not seem like seven. Fuck. 66. 72. Good enough. I like how I was really going for a professional vibe. I was really going for like state two stationary cameras. I was really going for that vibe. And now it's just turned into, hey, what's up? We cooking tonight, boy? 
I'm not even drunk. That's a sad thing. I'm getting there, but I'm not even there yet. After 70 grams of tomato paste, we are then adding 400 grams of peeled tomatoes and we're going to leave it to simmer. So I don't know what temperature like simmering is. So I'm kind of just setting it at like three quarters and we'll see how we go. There's so much tomato trying to come out. There we go. Yeah, there she is. All right. I feel like I need to crush them because there's no way I'm just supposed to leave those tomatoes there, right? Oh, there's so much tomato sauce going everywhere. That's looking real good. I just realized I'm putting metal onto a like hot stove. That seems like a bad idea. Shit, the step's finished. I need to have another shot. At least that one, there was a big gap, you know? It is what it is. Okay, that's that's not good. All right, what's next? Gonna add one cup of flour to a plate and one cup of breadcrumbs to another plate. That's the whole step. Fuck me. I'm gonna do this over the sink because I just have a feeling that I'm gonna break this down somehow. Yep, that, yep, that's exactly why. That's exactly why, because I'm just breaking the paper. Who was like, let's make flour the most impossible thing to get into in the world? Yep, doing this on the sink was a good call. Ah, shit. This is a lot of flour. Hey, you know what? This is why I bought an apron. Mamma mia! Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's a lot of flour. Mamma mia! Breadcrumbs. One cup of breadcrumbs. We don't need scissors. I mean, I made a hole. Okay, this is... This is the worst way to pour breadcrumbs just out of that. I made a, what would a packet pussy be? Well, I guess just a pussy, right? Hey, it's a bit more than a cup, but like, who cares, man? Shut up. This is just giving stream vibes. This is not giving the vibe of like a well thought out YouTube video, you know? And it's cause it's not. Look at that, okay. Actually kind of base. That doesn't mean another shot though. I kind of hate that. Add half a cup of parmesan over the breadcrumbs. One tablespoon of garlic powder and a pinch of salt and pepper. The fuck is a parmesan? Oh, parmesan. You like my pretty scissors? This chicken is really just sitting here. Simmering doesn't mean popping, right? Do we call that simmering? I'd say that's simmering. Pretty said, hey, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're cooking. Mmm, that smells so fucking nice. Oh, Jesus. You need Jesus. Over the breadcrumbs, right. I think it might need to be a bit more broken up than that. You need Jesus. Go back to church. No, 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 no. Smoking marijuana. Dude, when he said smoking marijuana, we're like four steps in. One tablespoon of garlic powder. Easy, we can do that. Wait, the tomato's spitting. Hey, bro, tune into CNN. Tomato's spitting right now. You're fucking kidding me. Oh, that smells good. You know when you like walk into places, you're like, damn, they're cooking. And it's just the smell of garlic. A pinch of salt and pepper. I can't really pinch salt that needs to be grounded. So we're just gonna, just a little bit. That looks pretty mixed to me. That looks all right. Okay, shot. I wonder if I've slowed down unintentionally because I'm like, damn, there's shots involved. But I also think that this is just how I like move, you know? Yahoo! Soju's so nice. <laughs> oh, except for that up, uh, that. I've never had an aftertaste that bad before. Break down tomatoes and add one tablespoon of soy sauce and a pinch of salt. So let's break down the tomatoes again. That's being broken down. Tablespoon of soy sauce coming right up. A bit of that adds a little bit of salt to it, from what I understand. How the fuck did it get up there? Tomato paste ended up up here. We pinch of salt and then we'll mix it all together and see how it goes. That's a pinch. Oh, that smells delicious. I cannot wait to delve into this. That's a shot now. God damn it. Okay, this is the problem. I just pouring. That's more than half. We agreed on half of the side of this. Yahoo! I gotta break three eggs into a mixing bowl and whisk. Where the fuck's the mixing bowl? Mixing bowl, bitch! I'm cooking Rick! Are you ready to see this? Flawless. It is not hard to crack an egg. Dude, that's got a little smiley face on it. I like that guy. They've all got smiley faces. That's so cute. Damn, these are fragile as fuck. Man discovers that eggs break easily. We gotta whisk this bitch. You see that? You hear that? what good pussy sounds like. Oh, that's a fucking bang. Look at that. Oh, fuck. That's another shot. We're about halfway through. If you couldn't tell from the time code of the video, we're about halfway there. Yahoo! Who the fuck wrote these instructions? My current step is check on tomatoes and break down. So let me break that down. I just did a shot and then was like, hey, the next step is to do this. Yes, that's another shot. I guess that's a step done. If this was vodka, I would be fucking wrecked right now. Yahoo! Soju's real shit. Any of my underage fans looking for something to drink? 
Anyone got a dog? Put one in the chat. I fucking love dogs. Well, I love your mom so much. Ha <laughs> ha! Cause she a bitch. Cut down chicken with paper towel, removing moisture. Cover in flour, then egg, and then breadcrumbs. Okay, what am I up to? I got two cameras on this bitch. The hell is that? That's oh, a piece of chicken. <laughs> Actually, I can see that the next step has something to do with the oven. Because I'm making a pub meal, I thought we should get some pub-style beer-battered chips. Because why not? Okay, this is a lot of chips. I'm gonna put that in. In it goes. Anyway, chicken. Usually it takes a bit for me to get pissed. I'm really feeling this. Let's do the flour. And the egg. And then the breadcrumbs. Oh, you hear that? So good put and then let's chuck that there. All right, yummy, yummy. It's really beginning to concern me that the part where I'm actually cooking the chicken and assessing whether or not it is raw or cooked is coming at the end of all of this. Dan, yeah, that looks nice. Trust me, that is a good looking like bread crumbed. All right, what am I doing next? I'm doing a shot now. Ah! Mazel tov. Yahoo! I gotta preheat the oven to what? Look at this shit! Preheat oven to 180. That's a single step on this fucking thing. I'm cooking chips, I don't need to preheat fucking shit. So that's just another shot, I guess. There's that much soju left, we may as well, right? Yahoo! It is a good thing I came prepared. I introduce you to soju blueberry. All right, I need to take away the pot and put on a pan with one centimeter thick oil. And then I need to cook the chicken on both sides. Oh, that smells amazing. Holy shit. I'm gonna put in some oil, one centimeter thick, they reckon. I don't know what that equates to, so I'm just gonna go like that. This is the part where I start cooking. Cause what I've been doing is just prelude to cooking so far. I'm like Mr. Krabs, and like crab. Hello, I like money. Hello, hello. Bitch, what you want? Yeah, we're almost done. It's almost time to eat. All right, she's starting to cook. In the meantime, you know, like they told you a Macca's, clean as you go. We're gonna clean up this fucking bottle of beer and get another one, eh? <laughs> oh, damn, she cooking. She's brown. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Holy shit. It's getting a bit brown. We can always reflip it. I don't want it to get burnt on one side and then not cooked on the other. So let's, yeah, okay. <laughs> How do I pee with an apron? Oh, that's it. Holy shit. I'm closing my eyes and I'm going to a different reality. Hungers! Chicken cooking? All right, let it cook. Dude, I am so fucking based. Use this. Scoop all of the excess into this bowl. Bowl goes... Fuck, that's all going on the floor. That's just gonna cook that side, so it's gonna be a lot quicker, and then we're just gonna flip it once more, and that's it. Hey, what's up? Okay, no, they're, they're, they're cooked. I feel like I have successfully almost finished cooking that. So, this is the end of the step. To the end of cooking! Yahoo! I feel like let's just brown this side a little bit more. Like, it's starting to look a bit overcooked, but I feel like it's better to be safe than sorry with chicken. You don't want chicken that could possibly be cooked a little bit raw. And you know, the recipe calls for it to be brown. And hold on, let's see in here. Oh yeah, that's cooked, baby. I thought that I would be too drunk to realize whether or not the chicken's cooked, but the chicken is definitely cooked, and I'm very happy about that. All right, sick, that's cooked. I think they're cooked. <gasps> oh, that's so hot. Oh, they're cooked. Ah, oh, that's so hot. I have this, why didn't I just use this? And ham, sauce, and cheese. So, let's get this. <laughs> hey, what's up? Let's get the oil off of that. All right, chicken's on. I like that you can see like kind of where it stopped getting cooked because it wasn't enough oil. It's fine, it's cooked, that's all that matters. We wanna add ham, some English, Don ham, and a slice of that. I feel like, you know, just to cover the total surface. There's some ham on that. Let's add some sauce. This is the sauce that we've been cooking. It's looking pretty good, right? I feel like that that's looking real good. And get the sauce, smother it in sauce. A classic Aussie Parma, smothered in sauce. But yeah, look at that. Doesn't matter if it over, like if it pulls over onto the other side. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that right there, that is good. And then after that, put on some cheese. Gonna make sure the cheese melts on top. You want a lot of cheese. You want it to be a good layer of cheese. You want it to be everywhere. That's almost there. That, I actually think, that's good. We have a look at this. That's good. That's a good amount of cheese because that's all gonna melt down. It's gonna come down very nicely. So that's a shot. I genuinely forgot what I was doing. And then we gotta put this in the oven for five minutes. All right, that's in the oven now. So now we've got some time. Moment of truth, baby. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. Chicken parmigiana. Let's get this bitch going. Holy. She looks perfect. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Perfectly in there. I gotta try this now. Oh my goodness. I gotta give this a go. But actually, you know what? Before I even do that, I need to have my last shot. I think this is good enough, right? Yahoo! Mm. Let's give this Palmer a crack. White in the middle. Very nice. Oh my god. That is incredible. That is amazing. Mmm. Mm. And to think an hour or two ago, that was just a chicken breast. And we made it something incredible. If you have never had a chicken parmigiana, you've got to give it a go. Australian delicacy. <laughs> oh, I was really worried that because we patted it down so much that we would take so much moisture out of the chicken. But it doesn't even matter because you got the sauce on there. You got the cheese on there. There's so much more moisture coming from everything else that it doesn't even matter. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and let me know if you really enjoyed watching this. Because I would love to do more of these kinds of videos. I had a great time doing it and I would love to do more of these kinds of videos so if you really did please let me know this has been one of the best palmas I've had in my life but almost better than a pub palmer I think it actually is better leave a comment if you want to see more of this I'll see you in the next one of those if not see you in whatever else I do have a good one and thank you for watching